Joseph P2, welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Breaking news, Larsa Pippen scores half of Scottie Pippen's Chicago Bulls retirement. Okay, so everybody's kind of up in arms about this uh, specific topic and headline. You know, here's my thing. As ruthless as Larsa Pippen has proven herself to be, I can't help but think that this man knew he was taking a gamble when he decided to make this woman his wife. I mean, I get it. There wasn't any RP content back then. There was no coffee pod, but still. I mean, this woman has done horrible, horrible things to this man. Cheated with rappers, featured in songs, and bragged about it, and continues to brag about it and, and gain clout off his name. Something tells me there were signs. Something tells me there were signs, man, right? Let's check out these comments. First comment here says, shaking my head, marriage is designed for men to lose. Another person here says, she wasn't with him shooting ball. She was at home taking care of the kids, the house, and the entire household. One day, y'all will understand that marriage is a team effort, a marriage of 20 years. She put in work. I think people are upset because of how she treated him after the marriage. Um, is his, That was his wife and who he chose after all. But I mean, when I look back at past headlines featuring Larsa Pippen, they're all disrespectful. And I mean, disrespect towards her ex-husband. Another comment here says, this is beyond unethical. Another person here wrote, I mean, she only birthed his kids and stayed with him for almost 20 years. Another comment says, damn, she cheated and still got his money up, never getting married. Another person here added, damn, that's effed up for all the dirt she did to him. And um, that's why they should have signed a prenup. That's why men today need to be wise up and protect themselves if you're crazy enough to get married. Still like myself. Another comment here says, y'all need to look up marriage laws in your state and stop marrying Jezebel spirits, this commenter says. And our final comment here says, nah, me and the judge fighting after this. Yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible. But he probably knew it was coming, to be honest. And she's probably happy. It's a dangerous time for marriage, a dangerous time to want to provide a two-parent household for your family. Protect yourself. Learn from these lessons. Listen, guys, as always, I'm Chris. You know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out another episode of the Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.